John Steinbeck's masterpiece of Mice and Men is returning to Broadway. I got a chance recently to sit down with some members of the cast, James Franco, Chris O'Dowd, and Leighton Meester, to hear about their new roles on stage. This is first time on Broadway for all three of you. You've all done a lot with your careers in all different fields, but this is a first for all of you. How are we feeling right now? A little nervous, anxious, excited? Well, I mean, I was fine really until you brought it up. Though. I presume you guys had done it before. Now I'm worried. Uh, yeah, it's terrifying. Really? <laughs> uh, yeah, but exciting. What does theater give you all that you don't get from some of these other media that you do, whether it's film or a TV show or, or writing? What do you expect to get from being on the stage with a live audience? A lot of it for me is, I mean, I love theater, and I've loved theater. From, I've just been a theater fan for so long, and it's been a huge part of my life, and I've just never really done it like this. So that's part of it, just being able to join that world um, is kind of a dream come true. But I think it's the live experience. You know, that's the big difference is um, the aura of a live experience you know you do it from start to finish and once you're up there it's just us you know it's it's really cool did you all know each other first of all before this no I hadn't um, met nor wanted to meet either of them before Interesting. and uh, <laughs> um, but here we are <laughs> against your will <laughs> yeah it's been really great actually and uh, Anna Shapiro the director is a very um, strong solid woman that's how women like to be described, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> very incredible. Like an oak tree. Yeah, like, like a <laughs> massive oak. Um. <laughs> James, you said something pretty remarkable. I was reading an interview with you, and you said, Steinbeck is my man. He strangely feels like a father. What do you mean by that? You have your parents to kind of teach you to be uh, a responsible person, you know, hopefully a civilized person, a good person. But once you go into your creative life, you need to find new parents. You need to find your artistic parents, your guides, the people who are speaking the language that uh, speaks to you. And early on, Steinbeck was one of them dreams. Leighton, what does this piece mean to you? What is this story about? I mean, we've, we've all read the book. We think we know what it's about. But as you listen to them go back and forth and you feel the essence of Mice and Men, what is it about really for you? Um, I mean, it's weird, especially during rehearsals, that it's been taking on different meanings every day. You find something new. And the play is actually quite a bit different than the novella because my character sort of reveals herself at the end to be so similar to these guys and have the same dreams and desires. Who is Lenny to you? Who is this guy? What's he, what does he represent? I don't know. And in, a, in a funny kind of a way, I try not to think about it too um, theoretically, you know. I think when you start getting into the represent, what are these people represented, this guy, in a way he's kind of nature versus society that George is. And, and I don't know if it's actually that helpful. I think that's almost, that's the work of the audience and the work of the dramatist, maybe. But all I have to think about is this is a real person. Mm. He's not representing anything. He's just this, as he's differently, he's described differently in the book as either a baby or a bear. Mm. And essentially, that's, that's what he is. Mm. How about George, James? Who is he? <clears throat> I think you see in a lot of Steinbeck books a character like this. He's sort of Steinbeck's kind of every man stand in for, for maybe Steinbeck in a lot of ways. Um, and um, he's a guy who dreams big, but he is faced with the harsh realities of his world and his situation. Cool. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate the time. Of Mice and Men is playing at the Long Acre Theater. Visit ofmiceandmenbroadway.com. Coming up next, Business Before the Bell with CNBC's Sarah Eisen. We'll be right back on Morning Joe.